So basically what they're recommending, and this is what we did in my grade two, three class, um, is that we used transient grouping um, where we didn't always put the, we didn't always categorize everyone, every student in the, in the class as being, oh, this student is really good in math, this student is medium, and this student is struggling. Um, we would use assessment to assess where the students were at in the particular lesson um, or unit. And then my teacher would actually use what, she called the um, jar of destiny to group the students so they didn't think that they were being put with oh i'm being put with the smart group to work on this work um but sometimes she would she would on the spot make the groups up as she was pulling out the names um and then she would pull a name and then not say that name but so in her head she's on the fly deciding um based on what work that she had prepared at the time, whether she was planning to put some um, higher achieving math students with some lower achieving students in order to have them work collaboratively and have um, the students who are generally stronger in math help out with some problem, problem solving um, work or um, perhaps at, depending on what we were doing that day, she would use she would put some, all the stronger students together and then some of the medium ones and some of the students that were struggling to do different activities. Um, so it was very strategic, but very transient. Um, she didn't always put the stronger students with some of the more struggling students because um, that's not always fair. Um, and dip, so basically it needs to be done strategically, but we shouldn't be having students be tracked or streamed um, so it should be transient and fluid and based on what they're doing at the time, based on the student's needs at that specific time.